Hello, this is Dr. David A. Gatros, Department of Computer Science at Florida State University, and I'd like to welcome you to my undergraduate lecture series on selected topics in computer science. You can find these videos and others at my YouTube channel at the URL listed below, or you can simply go to YouTube and search using Gatros and FSU as keywords. Now on to the lecture. In a previous video, I showed you how to take a base 10 number in decimal and convert that into an IEEE 754 format. Now I'm going to show you how to go in the other direction. We start off with a hexadecimal number and they're usually in this format and I'll put it up here like this. It usually starts out with a zero followed by an X which says this is a hexadecimal number. And then the eight character number itself. In this case we're going to use C1C 9 and then 0. So I always put slashes through my zeros to distinguish them from capital letter O's. <clears throat> so here we're going to put it in here C1, C9, and then followed by four zeros. The next thing to do is to translate this into the 32 bit binary version of it. And I'm going to take each character right here and convert it into its 4-bit binary form. C is 1, 1, 0, 0. 1 is 0, 0, 0, 1. C, as we know, is 1, 1, 0, 0. 9 is 1, 0, 0, 1. And then the rest are zeros. And we'll just go out and put those out here. And we'll be a little obsessive compulsive about it and put slashes through those too. <clears throat> Very good. Now, the next step is to calculate the exponent. Okay. The exponent is comprised of these eight bits. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's one followed by five zeros and then one one. I'll go over the procedures for converting a binary number to, to decimal. This one turns out to be, that value right there, this one right here is 128 plus, and then these two bits over here is 3, so that's 131. Now to get the exponent, we have to subtract 127 from that, so that is 4. So the uh, exponent, we have to move the decimal place four places to the right. <clears throat> now we're going to denormalize the mantissa which is, this is the fraction right here, and we only take it out to uh, as far as we see one. So here we have one followed by two zeros, a one, and then two more zeros, and a one. We put a one in front of it, okay? Now the decimal place unnormalized would go right here. We know we have to move it four decimal places to the right, so that's one, two, three, four, right here. And now we can evaluate this number right here as a decimal number. The number to the left of the decimal place, binary, that's a value is a 1, or that's an 8, and that's a 16, so 16 plus 8 plus 1 is 25. And then we know this right here to the right of the decimal place, this one's worth a half, that's worth a quarter, and that's worth uh, um, an eighth, which is a 0.125. So that's 125. So the answer is, and let's take the sign, which is a, a 1 is a negative. So the answer is, this is a negative 25.125. Now, um, <clears throat> this uh, again takes a little bit of practice. Uh, it's easy to remember the procedures, but it's very easy also to make a mistake. So. Um, it's worthwhile to actually go on the web and, and take out a few uh, uh, examples, go to a website that does the conversion for you to just to check your answers. Um, but try this a couple times, worthwhile, looking forward to doing the next video, and on to it.